Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can customize the style of a Lightbox contact form in your Squarespace website. Any standard contact form has this really cool feature located on the design tab where we can toggle on Lightbox mode. That will open up the form on a click and it will show the form above the content on your website. In this tutorial, we'll be customizing this overlay background color We'll be adding a border and an outline to this form, and we'll be customizing the form title and the form fields, all using CSS. Now, as always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but as I'm sure you can see here, we've got a lot to change today. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen and I'll teach you exactly how to use these codes to make your own Squarespace website uniquely yours. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace and I have a basic contact form on my website. If we hop into edit mode and double click on this form, under the design tab, we'll be able to toggle on Lightbox. This will then open the form when someone clicks on this button. Now, if you wanna change the text open form to contact us or whatever you want it to be, just adjust button text right here on your screen. Now that we've changed it, here's what we're going to do to customize it. We'll select save, we'll select exit, and to add custom code to our website, we'll navigate to Website, Website Tools, Custom CSS. Here are the main codes that we're going to be working with today. The first will change the background overlay color. I'm gonna copy this code and we'll go ahead and open up the form so you can see what we're talking about here. Do you see how I have a light gray that shows up over the content of my website when the form is open? That's what we're gonna change with Custom CSS. I'll paste the code right here and instantly it changes to a bright pink background at a 50% opacity. Now let me show you what happens when we adjust these values. Instead of pink, I'll say blue. And instead of 0.5, how about we say 90%? That's gonna be a super thick, bright blue color. We can barely see my logo there. But if we adjust this to maybe 20% or the equivalent of 0.2, what we're going to see here is a much lighter shade of blue. So it's a lot easier to see our background colors. Now, if you're using something like a hex color code, you can enter that here as well. But again, we're going to see it at a slightly transparent level. Here's 20%. Maybe 0.8 is what we're going for, or 75%. That's the level of transparency that we have for that solid background color. Now, if you want it to be a solid color and not transparent at all, use the number 1, and you'll see that solid color behind the light box form, but above the content of your website. Now, I don't recommend that because it can be a little confusing or disorienting for people, so try to set that to at least 0.8 or 80%. All right, we've adjusted the color. We've got more codes to work with. I'll close the form and we'll take a look at the rest of them. Next, we're going to add a double color border to the form. I'll copy this code, add a new line into my custom CSS, and before I paste it, let's open up our form to take a look. I'll paste my code right here, and instantly, we have a double border on our form. I'm gonna go ahead and increase the size of this border and this outline so you can really see those colors. There we go. Now, as you can see, this border and outline, they're so thick that they're being pushed off the size of the page. We can't even see the purple border on the top. So maybe you just want a single border and not an outline. Try removing that line and adjust the style of this as you see fit. Maybe 5px is perfect. Maybe you want it to be dashed. Maybe instead of pink, it's a bright yellow. You've got a lot of options there. All right, yellow's hard to see. I'm gonna go ahead and change that to orange so we can see it. There we go. Now, last but not least, I snuck in a border radius code because I like the curved edges. If you don't want a curved edge, remove that code and you'll have a solid 90 degree angle at every corner. Otherwise, you can change the border radius, making it slightly soft at maybe 5px or 50px to be super rounded. This code is very customizable, but totally optional. Again, remove that code if you want that 90 degree angle. All right, we've got more codes to go. Let's keep going. Next, I wanted to teach you how to change the form title font style. It's set to match the heading style of your website, and I'm not the biggest fan. So I'm going to copy this code. We'll scroll up. We'll open the form, and let's take a look here. Entering a new line of code, I've reduced the size of that title where it says creative lightbox form styles, and I changed its color. Now, let's say I want this to be a hex color code, like the background of my site there, the overlay. There we go. And maybe 20px is too small. Maybe I want it to be 30. I can adjust that value and there we go. There are lots of customizations you can do for font and text style. So if you're comfortable with those CSS properties, add any you want here. This is the selector that will isolate that form title when it's in lightbox mode. I'll go ahead and close this because we've got one more code to work with. 
and that's customizing the background color of the field itself. I'm going to copy this code. We will open up our form. Let's enter one new line, and there we go. Now the fields themselves have a different color. What this code does is it changes the background color of these input fields, and again, I gave it a border radius. I'm a fan of the curved edges, but not everyone is. Feel free to remove that code if you want it to have that 90 degree angle. And again, super customizable. Maybe you want to change this to be a soft pink instead, or you want it to be a yellow color instead. Change that value to whatever you want it to be. A word of caution, I like to use a slightly lighter color so it's a lot easier to see the text that's actually being typed on top of the form. All right, we covered a lot, so let's go through it here really quickly. This first part of code that we added, change the background color and the opacity. For a lighter color, make this something lighter like 0.4, also known as 40%, and change this value right here to whatever color you want that overlay background to be. After that, we added a border to the entire light box itself. You can change the style of this border, making a solid orange, and feel free to throw in an outline code that's very similar if you wanted to create a double border effect. Super customizable. After that, we change the title itself. I change the color and the font size of the title. Add any font and text properties you want here, and this title can be super customized. And last but not least, we updated the background color for the input fields. I also like to sneak in a little border radius code here that's going to curve the corners of those form fields, but I do need to spell it correctly. Radius, there we go. And then add exclamation point important at the end of it so the browser picks up on my code. You can see that little curve happening there so it looks just a little softer. Lots of fun stuff to customize with CSS. We made all the changes I'd like to make, so I'll go ahead and select save and we'll call this tutorial good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that we just used to customize that contact form in Lightbox mode. You'll also find links to related tutorials like my free guide to borders and my font and text property guide in case you want to get really creative with that form title. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel because I share a brand new tutorial every single week and I want to make sure you catch the latest. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. Find everything you need to make Squarespace uniquely yours at InsideTheSquare.co. That's InsideTheSquare.co.